Hey everybody, how are you? Look at this guy. This is the guy. Look at this. Yep. This is it right now. What's going on? It's a big bear, man. Just a big bear. Helping us do the things we need to do to get by. Um, I know a lot of people are scared of this guy, but that's okay. We're going to talk about it today. You know, this one right here, if you look, this is the one that's going to get us going. And we're going to talk about how do we take the bearish market that it's been and turn it into something special. Because I know it's tough out there. It's really, really tough. If you are getting hit by the market right now and you're seeing this market and it's scaring you, let me know. If you're in here, say hello. Say hi, hi, hi. And yes, we're going to get this going in a second, guys. So yeah, the bearishness is real, guys. It is real. Let me just get my thing set up right here. And we're going to talk about it in one second here. All right here. Oh, how are you, everybody? What's up, Felix? How are you, man? Uh, Alonzo, long time no talk. Sharon, how are you? Val Eldred, if you're in here, say hello. If you're watching the replay, comment replay below. If you're live, say hi. What's up, Brian? What's up? What's up? Uh, Bruce Brown, how are you? Aaron Ackland, J.R. Johnson. Glad you're doing good, my man. Glad you're doing good. So who's interested in finding out what the heck is going on? So obviously, you know, we always talk about be careful with the news. That'll hurt you. Okay, that'll hurt you for sure. So and if you're watching this, you should probably see the fact that what's going on right now. Ooh, have you seen it, Elliot? Have so I, Elliot is back in action. I've been enjoying it. I know. He's been enjoying it. We're going to talk about it right now. So just looking from here, you know, we talked about this before. I told you guys, look, we were looking bullish, but you got to be careful when the big bad wolf strikes below 200-day moving average. We're officially in a very bearish market, and we're looking <coughs> at the next reversal. And if you look carefully right now, guys, we are very much playing with this territory right here, which is a very strong uh, support line. Now, when we're looking at it overall, Jamal, what's up, brother? How are you? When we're looking at it overall, I will have to tell you that we need to be careful and seeing where this is going. Right now, we're in a very bearish day. And if it breaks through this line, which is very close to doing, we could be looking at the next point over here. However, guys, here's the thing. Right now, today, we the, the definition of today is set up. We need to set up. When it goes bearish, we, the people who are bearish watching this, are preparing for this. Okay? Because it only goes down so much until it starts going up. Okay? And then they fight. Then they fight. They fight. All right, so we need to really figure out the timing because the, here's what happened last time. This is not too long, many, many, many moons ago on February, only February 24th, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, January 24th, we had a very similar scenario. The world was coming to an end. Everything's coming down and we always blame something. Oh, it's COVID-24. Mm -hmm. It's something else. It's something else. No, man. There's always going to be news for this. Right now, it's Russia happening, you know, going through this. And, of course, you know, they pick on me because I'm <laughs> Russian. All good. They're going to blame me for this, right? No worries. No worries, guys. We're going to figure this out. But here's the thing. Last time this happened, what did I say, guys? Just wait for the opportunity. And this happened. Huge bullish move. And since then, what we're seeing more in the market now that we haven't seen in so long. And if you go back. It's, it's just been a very, like, very tight market. We are beginning to see volatility, very strong volatility. What do I mean by volatility? It means violence? No, no. <laughs> what we're talking about is um, movement. There's movement in the market. And when there's movement, we could use our bounce profit strategy. Now, I go over a whole strategy for you on how to make money on a weekly basis with something like this. And if you haven't seen my six steps to six figures yet, I give you six simple steps you could trade every week now. It's a webinar. It's free. Comment webinar below if you're new here, you've never been here, 
this is your chance. If you just came from Instagram, I know we have some Instagram users here today. Comment webinar below. We'll have a guy named Dave Gorby reach out to you. Okay, he's going to reach out to you and he's going to give you the goods. He's going to help you out. He's going to give you the link for the course. We can't put links in here. So just comment webinar below and we're going to get that going for you. Aaron, we got you. Oh, uh, oh is this your friend? I forgot how you know how to say that. Oh, uh, uh, Belay is in the house. All right. So, yeah, guys, it's all important that right now, if it breaks, we're going to 420. But if it reverses, which could happen, we're going to see a nice little move to the top. I'm going to say right now, because it's below the 200 day moving average, we got things that are a little <laughs> bit uh, bearish. So you got to be careful. But how do I get figures as big as jiggers? What does that mean? How you get figures as big as jiggers? Oh, I don't know. Ask Jay Z. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Um, we're going to talk about that. So, couple ways you could do this now now we could either go bearish bear put on et we're going to check it out yeah so guys if you're new here my name is vlad just to let you know i'm the guy with the y it means i will tell you exactly what's going on and why it's going on you just got to ask if you're looking for me to go over any stock picks with you just comment the stock pick below and i will review it with you right now yeah right now now if you're not live and if it's not 2 p.m eastern mm -hmm. Uh, at this point on Tuesday, you're probably watching a replay. Don't get twisted. You can still comment, say hello. You can still comment webinar below. Not a big deal. Bob Benish is in the building, so I'm happy about that. Shafiq is going to say hello in a yeah. second. Kalini Valcona, she's going to say hello. AJ Garcia, all you guys. Hello to all of you guys. Um, so cool. So let's check this out. Um, I know I missed the other day. It was a little different, right? I guess you know, I miss a couple of days and you go bearish on me. What's going on here, bro? No, I think it's the market. Man. So, guys, yeah, make sure we're looking for a reversal at this point. Do not enter thinking you think it's going to happen. Last time we had this, I said, let's wait for a reversal. And what happened? Exactly what I told you was going to happen. We got a big day here, broke through the 200 day moving day average. We had a nice move, like a three day of bullishness. It's going to come. Don't think the market is going to keep tanking. We wait and we wait for the steps. Can it still go down? Of course. As of right now, looking like it's doing that exactly thing. Everything's looking down. Might We might see 420 before we see anything else. If it goes below 420, all right, not a problem. We'll see. Maybe we're going to hit up 412. We just got to chill out at these moments because when the ride happens, the ride happens. Don't forget, guys, I'm going to repeat this again. Over the time history, the market always goes up. You don't believe me. Let's look at it a little bit more. This is going to help you out even more to really understand this. We're going to go on a five-year look at the market on a weekly basis to show you where we're at exactly. And guess what? We are just beginning to hit below 50-day moving average. That's not a good thing, but it's also, guess what? Is that the worst thing in the world? Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it did that before on this week. It exactly. just didn't close there. It's, it's testing it. If we could see this continue going down. It could happen. But the reality, guys, the worst times in history, we'll talk about COVID, was right here. Yeah, we had some bad weeks. One, two, three, four terrible weeks. And then followed up by the most profitable week in history of the market. Millionaires were starting in these areas. Mm -hmm. This was a crazy because the market doesn't stop. Yes, it takes a break. It's, it's just a continuous ladder to the top. We take some, you know, pit stops here and there, of course. But this is a small little pit stop. That's all it is. As of right now, that's all it is. But once it hits good, man, guys, trust me, this is the time we've been waiting for. We are, the millionaires are setting up right now. I'm going to, remember I've told you, I'm telling you this right now. The next millionaires are getting developed now. The winners out there, they wait. Millionaires buy property when pro nobody wants it. Millionaires go into stocks that everybody's afraid of because it's so low. Oh my God, it took all my money. That's when we get in. Think about it. How many people were here and said, mm -hmm. uh -uh -uh, I don't want to get in there. Mm -hmm. No, look at this. It took, you know, what's crazy. A lot of people with 401ks were in here. They lost all their money. They had like 5,000 left out of 200. And then all of a sudden they got out. If they would have stayed in for an extra two years, <laughs> They would have tripled or quadrupled their money from the beginning, which is crazy. So it, trust me, guys, the, it's coming. It's coming. It's going to come hard. So that's my 
observation of the market. Any questions, anything you guys let me know and we'll help you out. Elliot, you did a great job, bro. Good, good stuff. Nice to hear, man. Hey, hey, guys, if you're enjoying what Elliot does for us, man, I want to see some hearts. Can we get some hearts for Elliot, man? You know, he, he took over for us. You know, he made the market bearish for us. He did all that stuff. I leave for one week, he makes the market bear. So let's get some hearts for uh we, we can make money either way, man. Cassie Nito, she loves you. Look at this, she's giving you a lot of hearts. What's up, Cassie? How are you? All right, guys. So let's get this going. So what's uh what are some of the stock? Anybody has any stocks? Right now. Any uh, nobody's they, really, really picking stocks they, today, they huh? Liquidated their positions or just you know, we're gonna hold that's them. okay because we're gonna look at some <laughs> things if you don't have any stocks because I, I want to go over a couple yeah. things, anyways. So uh, you're saying ET, what was the thing? Um downside opportunity. Downside opportunity. Um uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I got a little wavy from Cassie. You see, Cassie likes me. She's a good person. <laughs> um, you could see here, yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's it's looking like it's reversing here. I could see this coming down to at least a nine for yeah. sure. So that, that's a good play. I like that. Um, yeah, Brian, good call on that one. I think this is a good one. Once it hits nine, though, then we're getting to the 50% range of retracement. I would say maybe it's time for us to get out. They're like all stacked up right there, too. Those yeah, guys. man. What's we got here? AAL? Yeah. Uh, let's see. So AAL, we're looking like, um, so you got to just be careful here because he, here's the thing about AAL is slightly different. I do like what you're seeing here. We have some things going on as far as great uh, momentum to the downside, but I'm also seeing that it's kind of, a, you know, went up, went down, went down. If I did a Fibonacci on this, I just want to show you this. It's kind of at that point right now where it's, um, it could reverse, especially the fact that it's hitting this part. If it breaks this moving day average, maybe a little bit, but I'm not as confident with this one. We want to see at least uh, the MACD cross on that one. So, yeah. Trin and WRL. You got all those. Okay, yeah. cool. What's next? Uh, what was the next one? AEM. AEM as well, also, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. That's a much better one. You know, so again, be careful. As of right now, the market's very bearish. Take advantage. It bounced beautifully off the 200 day moving average. Coming to the downside, I think it still has some time to go. Again, if I pull the fibs up, you could see um, it still has some time to get to the 50 day, to the 50 moving average, uh, 50 line retracement. I like that. And if this sounds gibberish to you guys, I apologize. It's because you haven't seen my webinar yet, guys. Definitely comment below webinar. Would just comment right down W E B I N E R. I think I spelled it right. And we're gonna send, we're gonna have A R. Yeah. We're gonna have David send you the link. I just want to let you know that I'm going back to the show. So comment webinar below to for us to send that for you. Uh, which the next? Um, A A O. You already went through trend T R I N. And what was the anything for it? Or just just uh, a... they just called it out. You sure? I thought I saw that. Okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, trend. So trend is going through consolidation right now. Um, so this could be a big play. Usually when these, when this stock does that, you could see it has a, a very strong consolidation every single time. Here's the problem with stuff like this. Uh, it, you want to make sure that it actually, um, see how like, you want to make sure it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Confir confirms, confirms. So you could see here it broke out and then it had a, some nice good days. This is a nice one here. We're waiting for it to break this kind of triangle here. And it's been going in at it for a while. So mm -hmm. if it goes, but now notice it's kind of bouncing off the 50 day moving average. I like this one, but we need to see at least like an 18 with a strong volume. Cause every time it pops up, you can see this pop popping of volume pops up, popping a volume. Mm -hmm. So if there's a volume pop there, we got, we got a good situation, but it looks like there is a good, like moving this, just be careful because a lot of times it'll pop up one day and that's it. So like over here, it was one day and then it kind of consolidated. So it, you want to be kind of quick on it because you'll only have like one, maybe two days to play it and then it's over. Oddly, Martin, didn't you get the webinar already? He wants more. I think I've talked you to him. Really like something and you want more. Yep. Oh, dang it. All right, let's continue going through this. What's the next one? NWRI. I forgot you have the blue screen open. What was that? I forgot you already have Oh, yeah, I do. I, um, just for you, bro. What's the next one? <laughs> NWRI? Yeah. I don't like those letters. 
N W R L maybe? Yes, try that. No, I don't know. I, that might be the wrong one. If you, guys, if you have any stocks you want us to review, let me know. But until we get through that, I just want to kind of show you a little, a few other things here on the market right now that I think could really help. So what I was looking at earlier is just screening the market for something else. So when we're looking at SPY, oh, oops, no, that's the wrong one. Um, what I did is I pulled up Finviz, which is a, something I use. Again, in the webinar, I explained how to use it. You could see it gives us a map of how the market's doing overall, but I'm also looking at the groups. Right now, we have tech, tech that's really, really not doing too well, which is obvious because if you look at tech, XLK, it was it's following the market. In fact, tech is the one thing that controls the market a lot, and that's kind of down. So a lot of times what you want to see, when you want to play at this point, if some people want to play the bearish side of things, you might want to check out our uh, just overall market when it comes to tech stocks. So if I go to screener here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a sector of just technology. Again, I really teach you how to do all this in our webinar. So comment webinar below. Jonathan Pollack, someone's going to get back to you. Dave's going to get back to you and get it for you. Um, and we're just going to look at the average volume of over 1 million. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I'm not going to do anything else right now, just so I could really see. I, I do want to get like a, a higher price stocks. Price Where's the price? Where am I? Where am I? All right, let's do uh, over fifty. Yeah, fifty. Yeah, fifty. And what I'm seeing here, what I'm looking for is maybe a bearish play, right? If if it's something we want to really see. And yeah, let's go, let now take it and we're going to do below this 200 day moving average. And all of a sudden, like for example, ADBE. So I just found a stock. Again, I could find stocks really quick and that's what I teach you guys to do. This formula works beautifully. John just called me a pig. Ha, John Jared, he literally called me a hog. What did I do to him? Is that lean hogs, a new big tech? <laughs> I have 5G oh. shares from an equity grant that vested today. Ooh. Would it be better to leave it alone or sell? I'll check it out in one second. Yeah, so something like this. If you see, I just found this Adobe right here. Beautiful play to the downside, continuing to go down. Volume still kind of there. Maybe a good time. Personally, I would wait. I'm just getting ready for that big bullish play. But that's just me. Pat Rick, what's up, man? Say hello. Bar Brandon Marks, how are you? Deontay Mitchell. Oh, we, if you're new here, say hello. If you have any questions about stocks at all in general, let me know. So, for example, John Jarrett is looking at HOG. And so HOG, and he's asking, I have 5G shares from an uh, equity grant that vested today. Would it be better to leave it alone or sell? What's up, Omar? Good question, man. Uh, so... Based on what I'm seeing here, this stock, I would say you got to be careful here because what it's doing is forming a flag pattern here and it consolidated beautifully and today it broke through it. So when I'm seeing that, it's a little tough to stay because I think it might bounce off this 40 day moving day average. So at this point, I'm undecided. However, you got to look at certain points. So if it breaks through this line of 40, that's a very strong downtrend of the moving average. So what that means is, if it goes past 40, there's a good chance it might end up at 37 or even lower. That could happen. The fact that it broke through this, it's already a bearish sign, but we want confirmation first. Um, so to me, just look at here. Like last time it did something like this and it broke. It broke down pretty strongly. Personally, I would, if I had to choose today, I'd probably say, say take it with earnings because it was so stretched. Yeah. So that's personally, I would say it's so stretched already. Um and that was an earnings pop right there. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, and you know, this kind of, it just shows that, look, it's going to go back to the average at, at some point. So personally, I think, I think it's going to, um, yeah. See some downside. I, that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, hope that helps. Anybody else have any other uh, stocks? PM. Let us know. PM, just PM? Yep. So PM looks like, again, you know, we, somebody asked me about the stock a few weeks ago. It had a nice little upright. And I said, look, uh, uprons are like a um, very similar to rubber bands, right? It's going to come down. You could see kind of formed this rising wedge, uh, pulled up. And then 
at some point, and this is why it's dangerous, it's coming down. I would not mess with this now because now it's getting a sell-off. It's not just the market either. It was just about to that time because, look, market's been bearish. It's been going up. Today was just a sell-off day, and a lot of times these sell-off days come hard. If anything, I'll be more bearish about it than anything else. Oh, it's a put on PM. Okay. Uh, sorry, Brian. Oh, yeah, I like that I'm put. So I didn't know that. Yeah, and the put, I would say, yeah, very bearish on that. I think it's, it's got a little bit to calm down. Maybe consolidate a little bit, but eventually will do its thing. Uh, metaverse, ETF, put on PM, BBW, what's next? What is the metaverse? Is that the I think, MA? I, I think it's called meta on here, but yeah. we got big busty, oh, no, BBWI. All right, BBWI, we're going to get through all of them, guys. And if you're if you're new here and if you're, if you're existing, I like to see we work off likes. We like to see more hearts. So if you click hearts, it gives us a good. It gives me energy. I, I work up hard energy. That and today I'm just eating, you know, just spicy brown mustard just out of a can. Oh, shit. That's what Russians do. No oh, shot. So if you're enjoying the show, can we get some hearts in here, guys? Jeff, no, no, watch it. If you're new here, give us some hearts. You know, let me see. We're trying to get for 250 hearts, and then we'll continue the show. We're already up to 42. Look at that. Your people are on it, man. Shafiq Ahmed, what's up, brother? Blackberry. You want to use a Blackberry? Cool. No way. Yeah, yeah, bro. He's all about the Blackberry. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that much. Appreciate it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. (laughs) No, I want to do something real quick. I thought you were about to go to Facebook because this stopped. No, no, no. Angel no. Lane is new to the group. Angel Lane, how are you, bro? Welcome, welcome. Um, so if you have any questions, so if I were you, and uh, I would definitely get the webinar first. It's free. I strongly recommend you definitely get that. Thank you for all the likes, guys. Really appreciate it. Really, really, really appreciate it. So uh, again, the market is very bearish, guys. We are preparing. If we are here, not to show you and scare you like the news. Oh, it's Angela. I'm sorry. I thought it was Angel. I missed it. No, the bro. Come Angel. on. Forgive me. What Forgive is going me. on with my screen here? No, on? no, no. All right, cool. It won't oh, work. stock farts. Stock huh? Farts. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, cool, guys. Let's get back to the show. Who's ready to get back to the show here? All right. So what do we do? We look at BBW? BWI? <laughs> we looked at it, but. BBWI? What is it? BBW. Uh-huh. Uh, no, I'm trying to get your, your huh? feedback on it. That's all. Okay. No, I'm trying to pin it. See, like on this video thing, I can't mm. do it, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Ah, boom. Pins the feature. Now she blows. Okay, perfect. Sorry, guys. I'm having some Facebook Shafisa things here. BB. Houston. All right. Where Houston are we going? In the house right BBWI. Now. Let's go into that. So that's a uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. So Bed Bath & Beyond is very similar to the market right now. However, you got to be careful here. You got to be careful because what's going on here is it's hitting this support. Now, you might think it's a bounce. Here's what I'm looking at. We're getting the golden cross on the MACD. When we're seeing a golden cross on the MACD, we got a problem ma, because of what's happening here. So we want to make sure if it's crossing here, this is already kind of down. I'm seeing, I'm going to guess that this is going to break through and it's going to go to the downside. So it could be a good bearish play. Again, we want to wait for confirmation, maybe to the 40, uh, to the 50 line. But I, I'm very bearish on this one. We got a Houston fan here. Judy, I actually just went, I just came back from Houston. I was just uh, there yesterday. Nice town, man. i never been there. Definitely, uh, I went to the Galleria. It was very nice. They had a, a lot of nice spots over there. Did you see him tipping on Fofos? Uh, Judy, where in Houston are you? Where, where to next? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Okay, so when we're looking at Book of Face, we got some things going on over here. Um, so you could see here, we had a big gap. The problem with this is very news-driven, so a lot of people are still scared of Facebook. I would definitely stay. And we don't want to talk too bad about the algorithm of Facebook here. Facebook is a great company, great company. Right now, it's just Book of Face is looking a little bit off, a little bit off. So again, I would definitely recommend uh, not not investing in this at all and just wait. Wait till the news gets through. But then eventually, once everything happens, this is going to be a stock to buy and why. Cool. Let's continue. Uh, Meta. 
M E is that M E T A? Yeah, it's like a ETF for all the. I don't see pretend, it. I don't pretend world. Meta materials? No. no. Let's uh let, type in metaverse. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Metaverse. See, it's like oh, evolve this one. Oh, this one found found metaverse ETF. Yeah, let's try that one. I thought it was. Uh, if the person who asked for metaverse, let me know what the exact symbol is, because there's a few. I'm gonna guess it's this one, because it's fairly new. So when you're looking here again, this one is too new. A lot of people are talking about that. That's why people ask for it. But there's nothing we could do here because of the fact that it's so new. It's under 200 days old, so there's not enough pattern rec for it. You could see uh, over here, we have the 50 day moving day average. It's just forming. I would say we still have some ways to go. Uh, no, uh, Felix Meta is something else. I know it's, they're switching <laughs> it, but it's, a lot of people think it's Facebook. It is they're not. Us, man. Yeah, so I would say on this one, it's bearish, but I'd be careful. Unless it, it goes past like 22, if this stock gets to 22, I think we could talk a different game because it's breaking th through such a strong channel, but nothing yet for us on that one. I miss Felix. He's a good dude. What's next? Uh, B, 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 Y. B, B, sounds B, like B. a Mortal Kombat combo, if you ask me. Uh, yeah, it sounds like the blood code in, on Sega Genesis. Oh, uh, so over here, you could see, uh, yep. So this just form a flag pattern here. Now, a couple things on this one I'm seeing. Um, no, nothing there. Let's see, on a short-term basis, maybe. Yeah, I, I would be careful. I think this is a very bearish situation here. So we have a, a nice flag pattern. If anything, I think this is going to the downside. If you're asking this for the downside, I think we got a good situation. Shafiq, I think we got BlackBerry on there, right? Yep, it was next. Oh, yeah, we got you, Shafiq. That was the we next got one. You, we got you. Uh, I'm surprised BlackBerry exists, man. Honestly, this thing, I don't even know. Actually, I saw some shows like uh, the new... Um, and just like that, just uh, um, on HBO, she has a BlackBerry. No shot. And anti, anti iPhone. So this one here has just <laughs> been bearish for a while, and I think it's going to continue that way. You could see the 200 day moving average is so far, 50 day here. This one's here. There's too many of them over here. I think it's time for this time to continue going down. Honestly, I don't see this in any way, shape, or form trying to get into this one at all. So. I'm gonna live. I live in Northeast Houston in New Canyon. I was a real estate agent buying investment properties, but now since the COVID, trading stocks almost daily. And with your help and vol the volatility, I'm doing very well. Thanks. Oh, I appreciate that, Judy. We're gonna maybe you could do like a little testimonial for us video. How about that? You want to do a little testimonial for us? I appreciate that. I'm glad you're doing so well, Judy. Um, definitely, definitely awesome. They, just curious. Uh, you know what, Judy? I don't know if you have my, I have a course that I get, that I have. It's a $500 course because you're doing so well. If you'd like the course, just comment course below and I'll make sure to get it for you. I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to give out three of them. So if you're interested in it, Judy, let me know. Just comment course below. I'll have Dave reach out to you and I'm going to give, I'm going to do a little quiz. I'm going to give out two courses, guys. You, I'm going to pick a stock. You're going to tell me if it's, if I'm bullish, bearish, or neutral on it right now. Although today is a little bit easier, yeah, right? Yeah. But let's let's go to the next one. What's the next one? Uh, ONTX. Yeah, I went to on it. No, I don't know. Uh, okay. So this one here. Am I bullish, bearish, or neutral? Bullish, bearish, or neutral? Whoever get it, you should have come seen my. Oh, you're uh you're in Houston too, Lori. I did not know that. I was actually where was I? I was in a few areas of Houston. I was in Pasadena. I was uh, at Humble, Humble, not too far from the city over there. I went to uh, Enta Casita. I went there too. Casita. Yep. Um, so I visited a lot of places. The city's beautiful. I saw some cool stuff over there. They had an arcade place, bro. 300 arcades. You pay $10 to get in. Unlimited play. Everything's just buttons. It's just freaking amazing, bro. Me and my wife beat X-Men game. That's my kind of place. All right. So we got bearish, bearish, bearish. All right. A lot of bearish. That's right. You guys are bullying. All right, cool. So anybody who is who typed in bearish up to this point. All right, I'm you know what I'm gonna give out a few of them. If you come okay, whoever only if you commented bearish, if you comment course below, and Anthony or Dave are gonna send you the course. Comment course below. Only if you got bearish, correct. Increase a little in volume, continuing down in trend. 
Oh, Brian's showing off. You are correct. This is a bearish situation. If you so comment course below if you're interested in the course, if you got it right. Sharon Harding, you got it. Anthony or David will reach out. If anybody else reaches out to you saying they're from our group, they are most certainly not. Or if they even say their name is Anthony. Unless it's Elliot. We've had people act like they are Anthony. Really? Yes. Oh, the half people are Anthony was been acting like you for how long? <laughs> but he didn't say his name was Elliot. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, guys. Ma Maxim. Oh, Maxim Bukhanov. Sounds like a Russian guy. I like that name. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah. So everybody who commented, course, Dave and Elliot, I'm sorry, Dave and uh, <laughs> Anthony are going to hook you up. Bro, uh, Brian, me. so Brian says that Elliot taught him well. And the reason, what he, he might be wondering why he would say that, right? First of all, the market shows. is <laughs> crazy right now. But what he's talking about is our one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So we have had great success in helping people leave their jobs doing those type of things and being able to live their life without the boss. If at any point you feel like you're ready to take this to the next level in your life and say, Hey, I'm, I'm done with working for someone. I'm done with living paycheck to paycheck. I just want to be able to provide for my family without the hassle and focus on vacations, focus on growing other parts of my life. Maybe a business you always wanted to start. We are looking for 10 people for March. 15 i know we got we just took five already so 10 more left 10 people where we could coach you one-on-one -on -one and mentor you step by step to teach you how to trade and make you a beast so you and create a game plan in the next 90 days for you to actually be able to leave your job if that's what you want to do someone like Lori, for example she's in here made 100 grand in 90 days 100 grand never touched anything before as far as stocks brian norris is killing it right now we had so many great results we had a shrey making 6k his first week uh, a lot of results i haven't seen re recently because uh, you haven't shared them with me we have, but we have a whole list of people who send us results recently which is crazy so if you're interested in comment coaching below comment coaching below and obviously you know we're, we're going to get back to you and we're going to do a little interview to help you out and see if you're meant for it. So if you're interested in, in the coaching, just comment coaching below. Let's get back to the show. Sig. Huh? Sig Sour. Who? Nah, Sig is the next one. All right. I, I thought you knew wanted to smoke a cigarette, huh? Nah, that's not my thing. Nah, you don't want that stuff. All right. CIG? SIG. SIG. All right. So SIG right SIG. now is in a very uh, compromised position, guys. Very compromised position. Looks to me like we have this scenario here where it's coming down and it's, it's hitting 200 below 200 day moving average. That's not a good spot for a stock. Again, if you're in our coaching program, you already know that's not a good spot. You could, and what's cool about what we do is we could find plays in seconds. Why do you think I could read these? You think I look at all these shots? It's being able to understand it. And that's what we have. If you watch our winnings based on this channel, 85% wins. It's because we understand this. Um, Angela Victoria Lane, we're going to get somebody to get back to him. We're going to set up an interview so we could talk to him. We'd love to talk to you and see what's up and see if maybe this could be the answer for you. And if you're interested, just like Angela Victoria into coaching, again, we, we have 10 spots left uh, for March. We would love to talk to you. It's very limited. After that, you go on a waiting list because uh, coaching is a little tough to uh, mass produce because you need a coach and you get the man of the hour, Elliot. All right, cool. So yeah, I would stay away from this now. On top of that, not just that it broke this, it's also looking like it's it already broke through this strong support. Very, be careful with this one. Definitely not something I would do anything right now. What's up, Rohit Doobie? What's next? Netflix. Netflix just been, man. Netflix is just Netflix, bro. Yeah. Just, ugh. I guess. Um... It just can't recover, man. It just can't recover. It's, you know, I still remember the good old days. I was training Where this. It was doing consolidating good, for so long. Nine month consolidations uh -huh. made me a lot of money on that. <laughs> now it's just not the stock for that. Not the stock for that. So I would strongly recommend um, not investing in it until for a while. It needs to break these lines. I think after a while, it's got, they're obviously going to make a turnaround. And I know what, what I do. I'm going to look at it uh, a little bit further out. Just to kind of get an idea of what we have, what we're dealing with here, right? What do you think? Yeah. Let's look at a five year and see where it's at. So even on a five year, it's still not showing a good scenario. It's not like our market. Uh, you know, when you look at it a little further out, it's better. It's not looking good, man. <laughs> it's just not. So I would stay away from this for now. What's next? You got 
Roblox. Wesley, 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 what's up? Huh? Roblox. Wesley or Wesley? It's Wes and then Lay. It's Wesley. What about Bark? Uh, Wesley, what's up? Andre wants to know about Barclay. This one is just bearish, man. It's just it, it fell down with the market. Uh, just be careful. There's no, you know, everybody's been talking about this, and I keep telling you guys I don't like it. I haven't liked it in a while. I did like it like last week. I thought it was. I mean, I, I did. I think I called it out right here, like a, two weeks ago, something like that. And I did like it then. And I thought it was a good move right here. And you know what? And, and if you would have played that, you would have made some good money to the, you know, hit the next day, hit beautifully. And that was a good way out. But at this point now, man, like, no, <laughs> we, we have to wait until it gets back to 65. And now I'll, I'll probably call out a good play here. However, with these kind of a straight moves, I would just be careful. The market is controlling a lot of these stocks. Where's your next? Um, Disney. Disney. They want to know, should we put it down or should we call it up? Well, here's the thing. If we're going to talk about Disney, we're going to talk about Mickey Mouse. But we talk about Mickey Mouse, guess who else we got to talk about? We got to talk about my beautiful Bella. Come here, Bella. It's Bella. She loves Disney. I show her Disney all the time. I want everybody, if you guys could say hello to Bella before we continue the show. We're going to talk about Disney in a second. Bella loves Mickey Mouse. In fact, I don't know, sometimes I go like this to her, like, like I put a little oh. ears up. Like, oh, there goes the ears. Like, oh. <laughs> Bella, say hi. Yeah, so this is my dog. Her name is Bella. She, she likes to say hello. She does love Mickey Mouse. If you if you like Bella, give, give Bella some hearts. Yeah. Bella, check out your hearts there, right there. See it? Yeah, she's checking it out like that. What do you think, Bella? How many hearts you see? Yeah. Me and her chill out and look at stocks together. If you like Bella, say say hi to Bella. Say hello, Bella. Bella, you gotta say hi back. Disney is bullish. Disney is bullish. Yeah. Give her another kiss. Give her a kiss, 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 kiss. Come on. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> she reminds me of the dog from the Never Ending Story. We give her the schmeagle voice. Lori says hi. Did you know Lori's from Houston? I could have saw Lori. Oh, I feel bad. And I, I didn't know she was from. Why don't you tell me she's from Houston? Hey, man, I didn't, I didn't yeah. know either. I didn't know either. Okay. She loves Bella. Uh, she loves uh, Elliot. Bella, All right, let's get back into it. Thank hmm? you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys ready for the continue here? Thank you. Bella says thank you for all the hearts. She really appreciate it. So when we look at so what's the question with Disney now? Oh, uh, if it's good for put, are we putting it down or are we calling it up? Oh man, uh, I'm not putting it down, guys, and I'll tell you why right now. I know there's some things that are showing that are looking okay, like, like we're seeing some downturn happening, but it's not a good one, man. It's not a convincing yet. I think this could easily turn. Um, the volume's a little bit short, and here's the thing too. And you tell me what you think uh, here. Um, I see that it's been going like going up, down, up, down. And now it's like in this place where I feel like it's forming a trend to the uptrend right here. It's just kind of holding it, you know? So I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm not really bearish on it yet. And it's, it's in between two averages. We might see it to the downside to 41, 45, possibly. But that's hard to tell right on this chart. What do you think? Uh, he said it too. It's trapped between averages. I would say I wouldn't. I would need to see more volume on the selling side. If, I agree with that as well. Um, it's just, yeah, that is. Enemy. It's maybe a consolidation at best, man. Yeah. But yeah, I uh, I would not play to the bear side at all. Um, but thanks. Hey, what's up, Mark? How are you? Thanks for uh, sharing that play with us, guys. Again, any questions? Please let us know. Uh, uh, Bella, Bella, Brian says hello. Yeah, no, not that Brian. Brian Norris. You you get them all. You always get them confused. <laughs> no, not Brian Smith. Brian Norris. That's the other Brian. Sorry, she gets a little confused. All right. Flaming F L M N. F what? F L M N. I've never heard of this one. I don't think mm -hmm. so. All right. Okay. Yeah. So this one here, um, again, it's a cheaper stock. There's some momentum showing to the downside. So that's the one thing here. This is a little tough to read. I'm not gonna lie. Because there's, um, it's showing us an upswing for the most part that has been going on, and I like that reversal. So they're saying to uh, for uh, um, they just want feedback. Yeah, on this one. I would say if we see us this stock uh, start moving past here, we got a good situation. 
If not, it's it's an indecisive situation. We want to wait for it to get to around 580, possibly 590, maybe even six for us to make a call on it. But you want some sort of, but at least 590, I would be okay with it. I'll be okay just with it. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. If you were already mm -hmm. in it. What if they're already in it? Would you if you're in it, I would stay in it. I would not get out of it because it's bouncing off this 20-day uh, uh, moving average. And I think it's going to hold that pretty well. It's been holding it a couple times now. So overall, yeah, I would not get out of it unless it goes be below it. Then we got a situation. Cool, guys. All right, what's next? You want some feedback on the NASDAQ. Q, Q, Q. Q, Q, Q. Uh, QQQ is following the market, man. So it's kind of the same thing. I would say the same thing. If you watched us earlier today, we talked about the market. No different. It's going to reverse like the market. It's going to do exactly. So this is held a lot by technology stocks. And technology looks just like it. I would wait. You do not touch this. Um, I think it's personally going to reverse. It might go down a little bit more. It's not showing a reversal yet. However, since we started the show even, if you just look at SPY overall, it's already beginning to show some sign of reversal we don't mess with it we wait because if you're if you have patience on these type of weeks you're going to let all the people who are gambling get through this and then we're going to take over man so just give it a little bit trust me it's going to be worth it mm -hmm. all right where to next so the next three are all semiconductors nvidia amd and mu so nvidia okay so nvidia is looking <laughs> good to me i really like this one um, now, do I like it right this second? No, but I, what I'm liking it is we're, it's testing this 200 day moving average. Now it is, have, it does have high volume. It is showing like it might reverse to the downside, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen, man. I don't think it's going to fully happen. I think it's going to hold. And I think it's going to reverse. If it starts reversing past 250, if it hits 251, I say we get in it. And now you want to, you want me to tell you what, when this stock is going to kill it guys. Put me on the record on this right now. If this stock breaks 270, guys, we're going to see some amazing stuff happen. 270 is the number, okay? Because it's breaking through a lot of different points, and we're going to see this full thing reverse. Whenever stocks do these type of things, you could see the reverse happens. So, and I think it's going to be one of the bigger ones we've seen. So let's... Again, stocks also move in that A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. I talk about it all the time. We've seen this A to B, B to C. We are ready for that move. It's just a matter of time. 270 is the mark. What's up, Alex Guerrero? How are you, man? Brandon Jones, what's up? I'm really upset I didn't know Lori's from Houston. Uh, I would have I definitely come visit her. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you, Lori. Oh, man, that's not cool. Uh, where to next? Uh, AMD. AMD. Very similar. Yeah, AMD is very similar. Very similar. It's, a, it's actually forming. The only difference is it's an indecision. It's a doji candle right now. It's a, an indecision. And again, if it breaks here, we're looking at a 132. We're looking at some great things, but it's got to get to 132. Got to get to 132, please. All right, what's your next? MU. It doesn't look the same, but same sector or industry, excuse me. MU, okay. MU's looking like me. Um, holding this line, it's a little more volatile than those other ones. I would just not, I don't know if I like this one at all. Just because it's too down right now. Mm -hmm. I do think it's going to probably reverse here, but we have to wait for the reversal. I would say maybe, I guess this one's a little bit more flat here. I would say around, yeah, like if it breaks 99, we got something. If it does, but until then, I would not risk anything with that type of volatility. Woo. That's the semiconductors. All More right. That, um, UPST. UPST. Oopst, oopst, yep, oopst. I remember this one. Um, so we talked about this one before, and I, I, I mentioned, I remember this one actually. We talked about this being that consolidation. I was telling you which. We want to wait for this to break out. It broke out. It got where it needed to go. And this is very predictable, actually. You could see it kind of hit this resistance here and started to come down. I think it still might have some, some going down before it goes up. Fill so that gap. Got to fill, fill that, that, gap. that gap. Correct. Where to next? Uh, I think they said uh, BCS. They said Barclays. I think that's BCS. BCS. Oh, Bark. No. Oh, there it is. Part BCS. IBCS, yep. Um, all right, let's check this one out. There's a lot of gaps here. What's up, Victor? 
Bitch. Victor Lachachuk, how are you, sir? Um, so overall, guys, if you're enjoying the show, man, and you, you're you kind of confused on what you're seeing, if you haven't seen our webinar, highly recommend. It's a great training. Just, co- you know what, we're going to change it up. Comment training below so we could send you that content. Comment training or webinar, whichever one you like, training or webinar below. And David is going to get that for you. HHMC, I saw that pop up. All right. So this one here, um, uh, man, um, I don't know, man. It's just too many gaps between days. That's a little dangerous to me. I do like the fact that it's kind of hitting here. So to me, um, because of the gaps, I would need to see a little bit more. So in this scenario, I would like to see this reversal to the top. I would say probably like, uh, man, I don't know, like 11 and a half, I would be okay with because but it's just going in the downtrend. Yeah, I was going to say, how's XLF looking? Yeah, because this is apparent. Just like the just like the candle. It's XLF? Like, yeah. Why XLF? Oh, because of the... Uh, so what he's talking about is the overall thing. Yeah, so it's looking kind of like the market, very bearish. So go back to the original one. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I was just wondering what it looked like. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, I would just wait. Personally, I would wait, let the market reverse. And I think this will reverse with it, but I would not mess with this right now, personally. Where to next? Uh, I mentioned DWAC Friday. Get on DKNG. I don't know what you mean. Okay, we'll he, look at he, 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 If I remember correctly, he played it for Friday. It, it didn't do too well on Friday, but we, to, we, we shall check it out. We'll P, check it out. PG. What is it? PG. PG. PG had a bad day, like everybody else. So yeah. PG, let's keep it PG and see what we could do. Yeah, I, so it looks like to me, this is holding pretty well over here. So but it also shows me that it could possibly go down as much as here. So right now it's in an indecision. It looks pretty bearish to me. Um, so if anything, if it breaks through, we could see a bear, a really bad bearish situation. I don't know if it will though, because we're still waiting for to see where the market goes. I would say this has a nice play um, over here. So it's in this channel. So if it breaks any of these channels, we're in a good situation. If you see it bounce off 156, that could be a good play. I would say a good situation for me is 162 with some good volume with a bullish candle. And, it, and then at that point, you'll see a little cross happening over here, which we haven't seen yet. But So I would just wait on that one. Definitely some indecision there. Where to next? A-B-B-V. This A-B-B-V. Might, might be a little dividend favor right here. A-B-B-V is looking like... Man, um, yeah, so it, it's, it looks like a good day today. Again, it's counter trending. So it means it's going against what the market is doing. So that's a little tough here. I would say uh, the volume's not fully there. Uh, could be just one good day. I would need to see it break. What do you think? I mean, it's not a bad risk. It's not a bad risk if you do get into it, I think. Because if it, if it does go down, it might go to 140. I don't think it's going to go past that. So I would say this could be a good one-day play. Yeah, I was going to say short-term. Very, very short-term. Could be a good one. More to next. Um, want to know if we have some continuation with NEO to the downside. NEO, yeah, looking like it is. Again, it definitely has a lot to do with the market. But it looks to me like we could get to a 20 or a 19 before we see anything else. So, yeah. yes, I like that one. I think this could be a good one for a couple of days if it gets played that way. Yes, absolutely. But again, remember, it's been going in that direction for a while. It just bounced. So one or two days max. What's next? Uh, HHMC. HHMC doesn't look like it exists. So D walk. Yeah, I mean, if you typed in HHMC, maybe you meant some. Oh no, you put HMHC. HM. Okay, my bad. Uh, HMHC. HMHC. What was the question of this one? Uh, I don't know if there was a question, but it looks like it had earnings with a little up there. Yeah. So, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even see that little guy over here. Yeah, so this one had just some earnings. I would stay away from it. It's not only earnings. It's only an, it's already a doji indecision, so there's a good chance. This could go up a little. This could go down. But, again, we're gambling too much. I would like to have seen this come up a little bit, like, closer to the upside. Not a big gap like that. It's just too much already. I mean, you know, sometimes it does that, but we, we might be able to play it if we see some sort of confirmation. But I strongly recommend staying away from it. 
uh, because that's very news driven. Anything with that big of a gap is very news driven. Where to next? Oh yeah, D D W A C. D W A C. Uh, D W A C. Oh man, this is a uh, holy crap. They get rejected around the Yeah. So overall, guys, like I said, I'm not a big fan of this type of stock. I think we you guys keep asking me about it. It's it's under 200 days of average. So there's just too much uh, uh, that could happen. I mean, I do like the fact that it is kind of consolidating. It's breaking through it up somewhat, but uh, there's just too much going on that uh, you can't predict because there's just not enough history. You need at least 200 days of history to really be able to call out a play the right way. Otherwise, it's like it's just too unstable. It's still trying to figure out its identity. DKNG. DKNG. Okay, DKNG looks like it had some earnings as well. Possibly just a bad market. I'm not sure. Um, I think it did have earnings, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, this one went really down, and you might think, well, it has a good chance to go up. It could, but it's hard to say right now um, because it is below all the moving the average. A lot of times I've seen this just overall just keep going down. So, again, the, you could, you're taking a chance <clears throat> hoping it reverses. We don't want to hope. You know, last time we had a very strong volume was yesterday and it was bearish. Today could be a little bit of a move, taking some money and continuing going down. It's been like that. When I, and considering the 200 day moving average is here, 50 days here, it's way below all its averages for me to be bullish on it. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, guys. Okay. Any last call on any stocks? If you want, we could go uh, we, yep. we'll go over a couple more. Sim. We got, okay, we got DTSS, which we'll go over in one second. Again, guys, if you're interested... We would love to do some coaching for you. Mentorship is everything. You know, we love doing one-on-one coaching. Very few places now do one-on-one coaching, but that's what gives us results. It's harder than doing just videos, which is what other people do, or just giving some chat rooms or some telegram thing that, you know, we had a lot of people recently we interviewed that lost a lot of money due to chat rooms and telegrams, WhatsApps, all those type of things. And, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. So if you see anybody comment here below saying thank me later and leave your Telegram link, do not click on it. That's that we don't support that. We try to block those people as much as I can because it is a lot of scamming going on. But if you're interested in something legitimate, something where we, we go one on one, you get that human element, you know, comment coaching below. We'd love to go over it with you and talk to you a little bit more about it just to give you an idea of what it is, what the pricing is, things like that. Or if you just want to learn a good strategy is six steps to six figures that I use every week. Comment webinar below so we could get that for you as well. If it's a replay, no worries. Just comment below and tag me to make it easier. Maybe I'll see it quicker uh, if it's a replay. So, all right, guys. Um, any other quick stocks you want, want us to review? Let me know right now. Uh, we got three more stocks. You guys ready? All right, let's do this. I like that. What? We've seen the rest. This is the best. I like that. Who said that? Come on. Big Who? Bob. Bob. We've Big seen the rest. Bob. This is the thank you, Bob. Bob is actually one of our uh elite clients. He is getting coaching right now from uh Elliot. So uh, again, if you're interested, just comment coaching below. It's not for everybody, it's for people who are really looking to take this seriously. So if you're not looking to take this seriously, don't comment coaching. Uh, if you're interested in just learning uh, a, a, a good strategy, really good strategy that I use every week, comment webinar. Um, DKNG, we went over. What's the next one? DTSS. DTSS, looking very nice and bullish. Again, it broke. So I like these type of stocks because of the fact that it breaks a very strong trend. But again, it's now broken 200-day moving average. I think it's kind of ready to calm down a little bit. It might have another day in it. It might. But when I'm seeing this type of candle, I'm seeing exhaustion. I think this roller coaster is over. At this point, we're just hoping. If Again, if you would have gotten in here mm-hmm. or here, I would say good. Now, all the all the main marks are done. What's the next? Uh, BTU. BTU. BTU is looking like we got something going on over here with the consolidation. We need to see it break. So it's obviously, it's a nice consolidate. I like it. Um, I think if it breaks consolidation and it breaks all the way to up here, even if it breaks to 18 and a half, if it gets to 18 and a half right here, we got a good situation uh, all the way to 20. If it breaks 20, we got really nice stuff, but it needs to break that consolidation to 18 and a half to, for us to even do anything. Uh, 
Thank you, Melly. Melly's another one of our clients. Love it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. And I, oh, man, I feel like real bad. I would have visited Lori. Why don't you tell me she's from Houston? You knew I was in Houston. What's your next? Uh, TTD. TTD. All right. Uh, thank you for the likes. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. We definitely enjoy. So if you're enjoying the show, please give us some hearts, some thumbs up or anything like that. And I love the I love people who are getting results, man. I love that. OK, so this one is on the verge, man. If this thing breaks, dude, this could be a good one. So but again, guys, we need to see. Don't do not get impatient. Take it. No, it's going to do it. That's where you get hit. Wait till it gets to 85. Wait till this. You'll see a nice little candle like that here. Then we got something going. Because again, it's still showing everything to the downside. So it's not ready for anything to happen yet. Please wait. Thank you for the love. Thank you. Look at all the hearts. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Terry Tomlinson, what's up? And Andrea Ramos, Fuguet, how are you? Elwin Jones, how are you? How would you say that? For sure. Fuguet. Okay, Fuguet. Sorry. I don't know. No, yeah. I, I could be wrong too. <laughs> I was thinking, we have fugue, eh? that's true. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if this gets to that area, we are looking at some good stuff there. What's your next? Uh, that was that was it. All right, guys, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure today. If you enjoyed the show, thank you so much. Again, comment webinar below if you haven't seen it yet. Colin Scully, welcome. Um, really appreciate everybody joining us. Just so you know, we do this every Tuesday, every Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern. So always join us. We'd love to. We're going to continue giving you different insights, different things that we could talk about. Uh, Sharon, you're welcome. Uh, Alwyn Jones, thank you. I appreciate it. Again, be back here. I have a feeling Thursday might be a whole different turnaround for us. We're going to be preparing for next week. Next week is going to be, I'm telling you, you know how I am with these things. I have a good feeling about next week. But Thursday, we're going to look and see, do we prepare? What do we do? We're going to talk about what do we do? Do not miss out. Don't be in that situation where, oh, I should have been in that stock a week ago. Man, I missed out. No, 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 no. Let's talk about it this week. This week, Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern. If you're in Cali, that's 11 a.m. That's okay. If you're in Houston, like Lori, and I didn't know, that's one hour behind. Okay. That's one hour behind. Anyways, guys, bit of pleasure. Hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. And I will see you when the market is bullish.